to hell after RF Typhoon jets escort Pakistan plane over UK. Two men have been arrested on suspicion of endangerment of an aircraft after RF Typhoon jets were scrambled to escort a passenger plane over the UK. Police boarded Pakistan International Airlines PIA flight PK709, originally en route to Manchester from Lahore, after it was diverted to Stansted. The British nationals being held are aged 30 and 41, the six police said. Superintendent Tompkins said officers were investigating a criminal offence and had not found any suspicious terms. It said suspicious officers were carrying out forensic tests on the plane as the two men were questioned in custody. We understand the incident was not terror related. Passengers said they had heard threats had been made on board but there has not been any official confirmation. PIA said all the passengers were safe. The plane was scheduled to leave Lahore, the capital of Pakistan province of Punjab at 9.35 local time, that means 5.35 BST, and had been due to arrive in Manchester at 13.30 CST. BBC defence correspondent Jonathan Beale said there was suggestion that there had been threats on board during the flight involving some sort of weapon or bomb, although this has not been confirmed. We were sitting in the front at 46. It's, it's happened at the back, some like 60 yards. And uh, of course, when you're sitting, you only look forward, you don't look backward. And uh, I haven't heard of anything or uh, any hassle, you know. But something did happen. Uh, verbal was going on a plane and then landed. And uh, three, three, uh, four, uh, three or four people came on board, arrested two people. And um, then we have been removed off the plane uh, with our passports. Uh, we are in the buses now to take probably to do the destination before we have a clearance to take off. Indian soldiers killed in Kashmir militant ambush. Four soldiers have been killed in ambush by a suspected militant in Fulwana district, Indian administered Kashmir officials say. An army spokesman said the attack came as troops launched an anti insurgency operation. In the Tral area, one militant was also killed. The soldiers came under the fire from militants hiding in a nearby forest. Kashmir has seen an armed insurgency against Indian rule since 1989, but violence has waned in recent months. The Himalayan territory is claimed by both India and Pakistan in its entirety. India has a large security presence in Kashmir. Thursday's clash took place in Hamdir village. Army spokesman Lieutenant Colonel Naresh Victor reporters. Extra security forces had been sent to the area to track down the militants, he said. On Thursday, police said they had killed a suspected militant in a gunfight. Hilal Molvi, a member of the Lashkar e Taiba militant group, was wounded in connection with the killing of several civilians in the Patan and Sopor areas of North Kashmir, they said. Thursday's attack is second major attack on Indian security forces in recent months. In March, two armed militants disguised as cricket players attacked a paramilitary camp and killed five troops. The militants were killed in retaliatory fire. Two people arrested in connection with the attack. Our officers followed it swiftly and started firing. One of the terrorists was killed on the spot and we fired on the rest of them. But since the visibility level is low and because of dense forest and foliage in the region, we covered the whole area. A search operation is still going on. During the encounter, militants and the Indian Army fired heavily on each other. We have continued the search until the morning. This encounter is a major success for the army and security personnel. We have blown up their attempt of infiltration. We'll move on to the business world. China sees first free trade deal with Switzerland. China has signed a framework for a free trade agreement with Switzerland, which could become Beijing's first such deal with a major Western economy. The signing ceremony took place during an official visit by Chinese Premier Li Keqiang to Switzerland. 
Bilateral trade between the two countries is worth $26 billion through imports and exports of watches, medicines, textiles and dairy products. Mr. Lee said hope the deal would be fell beyond Switzerland's borders. This free trade deal is the first between China and the continental European economy and the first with one of the 20 leading economies of the globe. Mr. Lee told reporters after the two countries signed the preliminary agreement. Well, the free trade agreement is a real priority for Switzerland. There will be uh, hard work to do in the next days uh, about industrial products, agricultural products, and we'll see. But we are confident that we can have a good uh, agreement for both China and Switzerland in the next weeks. And when are you expecting this uh, FTA deal to be signed? It's not so important for us when. It's uh, first of all important uh, how uh, good the agreement is, the quality of the agreement. But I think we can work uh, very rapidly and are also with a good quality in the next. Welcome to the world of science. Cockroaches lose their sweet tooth to evade traps. A strain of cockroaches in Europe has evolved to outsmart the sugar traps used to eradicate them. American scientists found that the mutant cockroaches had a reorganized sense of taste, making them perceive the glucose used to coat poison bait not as sweet but rather as bitter. A North Carolina State University team tested the theory by giving cockroaches a choice of jam or peanut butter. They then analyzed the insect's taste receptors similar to our taste buds. Researchers from the same team first noticed 20 years ago that some pest controllers were failing to eradicate cockroaches from properties because the insects were simply refusing to eat the bait. Tried a bunch of different traps from a variety of stores, all the different sizes, brands, didn't seem to make much of a difference. But the cockroaches made the Atlanta condo their home too. They always sort of came back and didn't seem to react to the traps at all. The Petersons aren't alone in their frustration. The persistent cockroach problem stumped scientists as well, until now. In this case, the cockroaches outfoxed us by, by developing an aversion to a nutrient. That nutrient is the sugar glucose in corn syrup, which had been commonly mixed with poison. Researchers at North Carolina State University discovered how the critters had mysteriously lost their sweet tooth. This is just peanut butter and this is jelly. This contains glucose. Watch as most of the roaches turn up their noses at the jelly but swarm around the peanut butter. The, the importance of this study is twofold. From a, from a practical perspective, it tells us that we need to modify the baits that we use to control cockroaches and to vary the nutrient composition of the bait. A change that will help homeowners in the cockroach wars. Lee Powell, The Associated Press. And in sports! Champions League, Dortmund boasts club relishing band clash. Borussia Dortmund manager Jurgen Klopp believes the All-German Championship League final at Wembley will be a special occasion. Klopp's team faces Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich on Saturday. The match will be the first time two German clubs have been contested by the final either European Cup or Champions League. This is a special game. It's the perfect place against the perfect opponent, said Klopp. If this is my only final and I die in 60 years, it won't have been so bad. Dortmund midfielder Maria Gasse is to join Bayern this summer, but Klopp has backed his club to deal with their best players moving on. And before we close today's bulletin of news analysis, let's have a recap of the main points. Woolwich attack M15 offered John to suspect. Ruby Karima Mehrug lied in Berlusconi sex case. Syria conflict opposition willing to attend talks. Afghan Taliban battle police in central Kabul.
Two hell after RF Typhoon Jets escort Pakistan plane over UK. Indian soldiers killed in Kashmir militant ambush. And there we end today's bulletin of news analysis. Be with us in the coming weeks too. Thank you.